What's up, y'all? It is Music Mondays with none other than your girl. Yeah. Okay. Show us love, love, show us love in the 909, y'all. With Jason. Ooh. Can't nobody yes. judge me because we beat all our cases. I'm Ryan. I'm not in competition with anybody. Make, make sure that all my niggas eat. That's how I'm motivated. Hey, what's your motivation? We, we, we pay for chasing. Can't nobody judge me. What's up, y'all? It's none other than your girl, Bougie. And I have a special guest. And her name is... Queen Simone. Hey. Queen Simone. Hey. So we out here, y'all. And so we're going to get to know her a little bit. Now... Tell me, um, Quincy, now do you want to guess a number? Are you going to be a part of that? Or do you want to just... Tell me about it. <laughs> You're just going to tell me a number, and what we're going to do is have our viewers just comment the number, and if they can get it right, they get a special prize. That's cool. Okay, so she's going to tell me a number. If you all can guess it, then guess what? You'll get a special prize from you. So just go ahead and tell me. I'm going to try to remember all this stuff, y'all. I'm not going to tell you nothing. Okay, hold on, we're doing a number between 1 and 50. Say it again. Okay, yeah. boom. <laughs> now, so let's get into who you are, Queen Sana. Um, First of all, how did you get your name? How did you come up with your stage name? Um, two of my brothers, one of which is no longer here with us, rest in peace like the legend. Three of my brothers, came up with Respect Royalty in the Presence. And I did some features, you know, on Life's album and oh, called me out on stage like Queen like Sinai in the building. I'm like, wait a minute, I like that. So, <laughs> and it kind of stuck. And I stopped doing music um, a little bit. I was still doing lightweight stuff, but when he passed away, I totally stepped away from all of my music. I didn't even sing in the house when he passed away. It was, it, it was devastating. But when I finally decided to come back out, it was my baby brother that bought me out, Prince Cash, though. Shout out to Cash. Yeah. Had me do a feature on one of his songs. And I was like, I remember this feeling. Oh, my God. And I was like, can you see how I'm in the building? How beautiful. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> she said she out here. I'm chill. Not okay. Not chill. I'm not going to stop. Like, wait, wait. Let me chill. Like, you That's out like chill. out here. Like, it's out here, but it's just a country slang. Like, yeah, it's a I'm country out slang. chill. Yeah. <laughs> We out here. You feel me? <laughs> so, um, okay, so you, um, how long have you been doing music total? Um, I started in 2001. I would say I recorded my first song. It was, it was a learning process, y'all. Um, 1997, I did a freestyle at WXDU um, over a Capadonna song. I never forget. It was over one. Nobody knew I rapped. I went by Divine Earth. That's what I was on. And they was like, nobody knew that it was me. Nobody knew I was rapping. So when I came back out singing, it was like, it fit. I have a musical family. My mom was a singer. My father was a bass player and has a beautiful voice as well. And it just was natural to sing. Um, but when Life was still here, he heard a song that I rapped on. I did a rap feature some years ago. Snitch Killers and Dumb. My brother was like, that's my sister. I didn't know she could rap. So when I came back out, I was like, you know what? Everybody needs to know that I do all the things. I rap. I sing. I write for all genres. I'm, I mean, I could dance a little bit too, you know. But, but it's time to use all of my talents. There's no yeah. reason to keep sitting on them because as we see, life is short. Yeah. So that's fine. Really relevant. So tell them where you're actually from. Okay, I was born and raised in Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm from Brownsville. BK. I'm from the hood hood, y'all. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I grew up with a lot of crack files around me and a lot of, you know, a lot of, a whole lot of hood shit. But the flip side of that is, my parents kept us at operas, at museums, at the botanical gardens. Like, they showed us duality, even in that experience. So, like, you come home for something majestic and then you see some BS on the corner. Like, it just kind of makes you decide what you want to like to look like. Well, at least you had an option. They, yeah, they opened your eyes to all the different options. So that's great. So how long have you been down here in North Carolina? I moved to Durham, North Carolina in 1996 okay. to go to NCCU, Eagle Pride. Uh-oh. Prior to that, when my parents were... Shout out to the geese. <laughs> Prior to that. <laughs> when my parents first separated, it might have been 1993. My mom moved to Garner, 
and then Raleigh, and then Kelly. Shout out to everybody I know and love. I got Raleigh. a new one in there. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> and shout out to the whole city. I would say that you have to ask my mom's born and raised in Brooklyn. North Carolina plays a huge role in my music and in who I am as an individual. Again, the duality. You have the city. You have the south. You know what I mean? And like, I'm a country girl. I got a garden. I bet I always like, say I grow city vegetables. born country <laughs> You understand what I'm okay. saying? I got veggies in my front yard. Um, and I'm... I'm Thicker than a snicker, boy. <laughs> <laughs> she like to eat, y'all. Y'all know we all like to eat. Everybody been up here. So, um, I mean, I love New York. That's yes. in me. I love the South. That's in me. Okay, okay. Now, you know, I first actually heard of you in the song Revolution. And when I tell you, that touched me so deeply to the point I was like, I got to reach out to her. And I also reached out to Iconic Bond after I seen that because to oh me it was so prominent to what was going on. Like y'all was so lyrical, y'all. I mean, like everything about it in the video, everything was just so powerful. So tell me, um, how was you feeling when you did that video? Well, let me start by saying I wrote that song a year ago. Like oh, wow. we weren't Ew. even in the thick of all the craziness that's going on. And hey, you had a mask on, if I'm not mistaken. In the video, I did because when we find, when me and Iconic finally decided to do the video, that was early this year. That was right after George Floyd got killed. Oh wow! Uh, we had done the song, and then the bullshit like exploded. Like yeah. it was perfect to do a video for the song uh, because there's more like a, a, a conscious awareness that wasn't there before. People are really starting to take notice that weren't mm -hmm. taking notice before. Um, during the video, it was powerful. We drove through a protest on the way to the location that we were shooting at. Mm -hmm. There's protest footage from around the world in one of the versions of the video. But being in the um, the tunnel at NC State, was it the tunnel of attention? I can't remember what it's called. But I don't know the name of it, but I know it's tunnel. Yeah, it's like some powerful messages go throughout the entire tunnel. It's just a powerful experience to be like the voice of all the people who aren't being hurt, all the people who lost their lives, all the people who are still locked up behind systematic oppression. And even my brother lost his life as a result of systemic racism and how it kind of trickles down into lifestyle and how you end up having a way of trying to get it. You know what I mean? And that's perpetuated throughout our community. So it's important to me to speak out against that. Like, I'm tired of it. Yeah. As I'm yeah. sure everybody else is tired of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if my song is a little bit of drop in the bucket of change, then hey, I did a little bit of my own. There's still more to be done, like I said. Tell me, as far as when you actually sit down and write your songs, what's the process you go through? I listen to the beat. No, for real. I listen to the beat like five hundred times in a row. And honestly, I do because I, first of all, I have to feel that the person who created them, the music is good, and sometimes that takes time, right? And what you might want to write today, I might end up wanting to write something entirely different tomorrow. Um, and I don't know about anybody else, but sometimes I craft my song from the end all the way back to the beginning. I might start with the last verse and then create the first verse. I might start with the hook and then build pieces of the song throughout and then put it all together. It just depends on where I'm at. I'm just a little weird like that. I'm like a mad scientist. <laughs> I write my song today. Okay. Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> So, um, now I was scrolling through the YouTube and I seen that you actually had a video that was um, basically telling us about domestic violence, talking about the statistics of domestic violence and one of the wild things about it to me was how you spread it out where it wasn't just about women, it was about men, it wasn't just about domestic violence, it was about sexual group abuse and all of that. Okay, so, um, and it's interesting that you were talking about self-love because I actually, um, follow, like, several people, and I'm into, like, chakras, energy, and all that stuff. So, um, when I was working on opening my chakras, the main thing that they said was self-love was just really learning, like, every, almost, he, his name is Sad Guru, so he was showing how everything that we go through we can actually heal with just loving ourselves, you know, and how important it is to love ourselves first before we can even, even think about loving anybody else. Like, because how could you ever, like, nobody's ever going to show you the attention that you need. 
Oh. You're the only one that's gonna show yourself that you need. Like it's not even fair to the next person to try and lift you up. You know, yeah, lift themselves up. Yeah, and the lift themselves time. up at the same time. Y'all bringing each other down in a yeah. spiral of despair. Now y'all yeah. on the ground and can't even get up. Come on. Man. Exactly. Oh, you definitely gotta work on that. So about that, um, that is positive to have a wonderful, healthy relationship. You know, the hugs and the kisses and not the fists and the kids, You know what I mean? Exactly. And um, little bit was just a vibe. When I first heard the track, I was like, hmm. <laughs> this needs to be about some. Some positives and some hugs and kisses. Yes. That's, that's what I felt when I was listening to it. You know what I mean? And I saw how my children were smiling behind it and everybody was yes. cool. And I'm like, you know what? I can make this a real cool vibe. And then it kind of gave me an old school feel too. I almost felt like I was LL Cool J rapping like this. I see any love. You know? <laughs> I, do give you that I tried to get my bit, smooth though. cool. <laughs> Playing, playing some cold And I suppose it was the kind of day For clocking all the hoes And the bros and the gray sweats And the shorts with the camel toes And I laughed, stuck in my thoughts I looked up and then I froze Whoa, he was something out of a movie I turned away but I could feel him looking through me Not like a predator, I felt he kinda knew me And I'm taken back a bit, I mean I'm thinking who's he? Huh? Was he a remnant of my past? Somebody that I met, a spark of flame that they didn't last? I'm about to pass, I could ask but I'm kinda shy And he seems to be the type that's a popular kinda guy And oh my, they pull my thoughts again, I'm caught up in the moment His smile is so amazing and his cocoa brown is flawless I try to keep my cool as he approaches I give him my number and reminisce over the moment I hope he calls okay, okay. So um, tell me, who was your favorite person you have worked with so far? It's my job. <laughs> if, I, if I'm really honest, it's it's a couple of people. I would kind of say it's a tie between iconic boys and. Um, You name somebody, you gotta name somebody. Shout out to everybody I work with. I love all y'all. Shout out. Um, but only one yeah, can get okay. them. Alright, I respect Iconic Bond's work ethic, and that's, that's my brother, hands down. Um, Prince Castro, he got a grind like in every arena, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say um, Willie Walker, Jerks. Because oh. between the model cameo and a little bit video, right? And um, between being a decent really good producer, I gotta. It's a secret, I ain't gonna let the cat out the bag just yet. But like <laughs> okay. on the production side, he's pretty dope. And then, um, we got a couple of drinks together that y'all ain't heard yet either. But when y'all hear it, y'all see why I say it's my favorite because across the board between production, um, collaboration, and then again the model cameo just kind of bumped a little bit video together. I would say that's been a great experience so far. But I've experienced a lot of great collaborations. So again, shout out to everybody that I've worked with. Shout out to no shade. <laughs> okay. <It's all> <laughs> no shade. It's all love. <laughs> So um, I'm just going to dig into a little bit about. Um, Shout out to Mike Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> so um, please uh, tell us um, if there was anything that you can do outside of music, what would it be? Hey. Well, being a fashion designer. I would say that it would be pushing my brand into an international brand from a local brand. I'm still local, and when I say local, yeah, I have sales all the way as far as Alaska, but um, I'm trying to be in Paris Fashion Week. I'm Ooh. trying to be in Milan Fashion Week. Yes. I'm trying to do New York Fashion Week. What's up? Yes. Um, and so I'm still at it. I've been designing clothes for 
Then we can start a sewing when I was 14. Uh, I will go up there. I'll teach them now. I'll tell y'all how to do it. I am now. But I do sewing lessons. I do alterations. I do custom designs. I got a fabric store on Etsy. Like, uh, that's tell them the name of your brand. My brand is Savvy Street Clothing Company. And if you're looking to shop, it's Etsy.com slash shop slash Savvy Street Clothing Co. S A V V Y C H I C Clothing C O. And, um, the fabric store is a savvy fabric depot. It's kind of easy to remember. Um, just go check me out Instagram at it's savvy sheet clothing um, and savvy sheet clothing .com. And as far as my music, what I try to do is incorporate my line into my videos. Okay. So I try to put my songs on the runway when I'm doing a fashion show, just as a matter of cross branding. Yeah, that's a more. Yeah. Wow. So what type of clothing? I, I don't. I'm not really. I don't know the name. Like. Um, when I say what type, like, is it hip-hop, is it uh, tribe, or is it all different types of stuff? It's all different types of stuff. Because I do customs, I'm not going to put myself in any box, but when you look at my shop, it's mostly women's clothes, mostly okay. women's loungewear, a little bit of high fashion. I have a jogger line called Jogger Life, but anywhere from regular joggers to jogger markers to sequin joggers wow. for when you're going out. So if you come and look through and you see something, but you'd rather have it a different way, because I do customs and because I make it, you make your request, I got you. Wow. Simple as that. Okay, well, I'm definitely about to hit you up. <laughs> okay, so um, tell me how is this going? Because she brought the babies here, y'all. And so tell me how is this whole thing going with this COVID and the babies? And it's been a child. I mean, Honestly, I would say if there was a strong family unit, it would probably be a lot easier. Everybody could kind of balance out what's necessary in the household to make Mom, it work. Kaden won't let me watch your phone with okay. me. I will holler at him in just a minute. I want to watch your other So what I would say, honestly, is that um, it's really taking a toll on the kids. From my big ones all the way down to my little ones, they have a lot of adjustments that they've never had to make before in life. I mean, as an adult, we put some hard catches and we have to figure out how we get through it. Children ain't never been through it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So for this, it's really important as a single mom to stay strong for them and to still give myself an opportunity for self-care. Because without that piece, we got gray hair, we got pulling our hairs out, we got, yeah, don't want to get out the bed. You know what I mean? Like, self so, so care is important, but I'm not going to lie. My children had a therapist to help them take the edge off. Well, that's good. I have a therapist to help me take the edge off. And I'm, I'm going to advocate right now, all my black people, all my whoever people, Go to therapy. Yes. It's like getting the oil changed in your car. You have to maintain your brain and you have to maintain your, your spirituality and your physicality the same way you maintain your vehicle. It's very important. So I would encourage y'all to do that, especially during the pandemic. We've been inside. We stir crazy. This this presidential stuff is, yes. is crazy. Go maintain your brain. Exactly. I implore you to maintain your brain. I've seen a lot of people right now that are like uh, dealing with PTSD. And I feel like a lot of people from this pandemic are now dealing with PTSD as well and don't even realize it. And I think the main, the way to help y'all, don't watch the news. Don't watch, turn the TV yes, off. Yes, turn it off. Unless you're watching my video. <laughs> exactly. Turn the TV off, for real. Don't watch the news, y'all, because that's not good for our mental uh, capabilities right now. I don't for even real, know if that's real. the right word, but Just no. unplug for a minute. Like, everybody needs to take some yeah. time to unplug, pull up a little frequency on YouTube and get your arm on like yeah, just step fast. away from it all sometimes. <laughs> like get your arm on. <laughs> get it. Right For real. So okay. So I want you to go ahead and let them know what you have coming out. I got a few things in the pipeline. Now I just dropped a single called Hardaway and it started out as a tribute to my brother like the legend. Um rest in peace. That was we were stair step twins, so we were 11 months apart. And um, the video will be out soon. You. you all are gonna love it. I know you're gonna love it. Um, it has a real dope vibe to it. And um, my EP, sorry to say, this EP, I gotta focus on the um, Epiphany EP is dropping on November 20th. Excuse me. QS the mixtape is dropping. 
Christmas. Yeah, you're working. I you're can't gracious. tell you what's coming after that because it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> so when the cat comes out the bag, y'all just be ready to grab that shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> November 20th. And what was the other day? Uh, December 25th. December 25th. Yeah, you're working. I'm working, working out here. I'm wow. serious right now. So where you time. record at? Uh, uh-huh. Now, um, Cutting Edge Studios in Cary is a great place to be. Um, got a homeboy, uh, AIDS, Bombs Art. He got a nice little situation going on. Great producer as well. Um, Willie Walker got a nice little situation going on if you're looking for somewhere to work. And um, uh, King James, Audio by Mel. Those are my, my go tos at the moment. But I'm working on my little producer thing at the moment. I've been recording myself and trying to see you know what I could get good at it. Honestly, You're doing a good job. it's a good feeling to be able to do your own thing mm-hmm. in the middle of the night yeah. while everybody else is unavailable and then take it somewhere else and have it, you know, tinker, Just cleaned up real quick. Cleaned up real quick. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. working through that. So, I've been playing with my production fingers as well. Well, that's good though. Yeah. So, um, how do you maintain everything because you're doing the clothes, you have the clothing line, have the whole clothing company, excuse me, have a whole company going on. You doing your music, obviously you're recording and basically doing all that. And you have twin little kids. So how are you managing all of that? Uh, very carefully. Because I mean, I'm not going to lie, it's easy to drop the ball when you're not multitasking, if you're not paying attention, right? But um, a lot of structure. People kind of laugh at me because I my day, but I'm a calendar my day, so I don't miss a step. You know what I mean? I, um, I keep lists. I check and double check. I make sure my children have something to do. And sometimes I take a break from it. Sometimes I have to step back and take a recharge. So if I don't work on a song for a week or two, I'll just come back and do 50 songs the next week. There you go. It is what it is. So how would your support system, because what I'm saying, everybody that I have even asked about this lady loves her two pieces. <laughs> so I would like to know, and I do too, so I would like to know how would your support system, like how does that work for you? Do you feel that everybody is like really behind you? I feel the love. I'm not going to lie. I feel a lot of the love, and it's mostly the moral support. I, You know, I'm kind of far away. I'm not going to lie. After the whole last domestic violence and I felt like it would be best to be far away but one of the things about being far away is A it let me know who is really in my corner B it let me know that people are still watching and people are still rooting for me and I really appreciate y'all giving me y'all shoulders to stand on and C it made me decide who I want around me who support I actually really want in my life and how much support I need you know what I mean? So the moral support is dope. The physical support, people be in their hands on. It's not always available, and that's cool because I got it, right? But I know y'all got me if I need you. <laughs> right. Okay, okay. So we have coming November 20th. Epiphany EP. Epiphany EP. Epiphany EP. And we have on all platforms. On all platforms. And we have on December 25th. QS the mixtape available on SoundCloud. Exactly. And so I want y'all to definitely check her out. What we're aiming on doing, y'all, is having the Hardaway video, a snippet following this interview. And I want y'all to go to her page and watch the full video. Y'all gonna love it. Check her out. Subscribe. You Queen too. Sanaa. QS Queen Sana. Hey. QS Queen Sana. You have to put the QS in the front. I don't know if there's another Q- Queen Sana out there somewhere. So QS Queen Sana. And when you're looking for my music, it's Queen Sana on all platforms. It's Queen Sana. Exactly. Come see it out. <laughs> Come check her out, y'all. The music is dope. She's singing. She rapping, Hi. y'all. Yeah, that's my baby. This that's my baby. Half of the twin duo right here. <laughs> oh, Hi. 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 Alright. And so I love y'all. Check us out. Like, share, subscribe. But if you would take the harder oh, way, the more That's complicated amazing. one, the one with more failures at first than successes. The one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. This is your time. <laughs> Wakanda forever. Rest in peace, life the legend. Shout out to Cash. Queen Sana. Respect royalty. I drink
of like the legend. Yeah. In the booth, spit and magic. Yeah. I had dreams of like the legend. Yeah. In the booth, spit and magic. Yeah. I ain't never, never been a bad. I ain't never been a bad. I ain't wanna be a bad. I ain't never been good at being a bad. I might have been bad at being a bad. Remove my influence, your style don't exist. Look at your kingdom, like what is this? And all of you chicks be mumbling often, talking about nothing. You gotta be bored. Mad cause my life might be better than yours. I'm walking tall, you still crawling on fours. Of course, many nights I cry, swear to God. These are just don't have no feelings at all. My life just messed up and healing it all. And I won't let none of y'all come and destroy it. Or what you annoyed, I done switched up my lanes. I made a choice not to f with you lanes. Tried to ignore, but y'all keep playing games. And my savage been aching to come out and maim. I'm just trying to come. And flip a new page. Now y'all don't want me to change up my ways. You want me to smack your bitch in the face every day until you learn to stay in your place. Then dismantle your persona in front of your honor since you wanna come and make statements. You forgot I built this from the basement. Took the heart away. Y'all this is basic. You might as well make it. Progress from the pain. And I'm just getting started. Lost a piece of my heart.